Graduation cap tossed, crowd fading and standing ovation. I thought my life trajectory was in perfect alignment, but with a quick phone buzz from a few thousand miles away, an unannounced hurricane hit. My dear brother is hospitalized. Why are you in a mental hospital? Millions of questions running through my head. I found out that he's been struggling heavily with acne and appearance issues, and with denials of finding love, he became affectionate towards self-judgment. He's beautiful, but he just doesn't know. A trip to New York aggravated those negative emotions with no confidence to leave the hotel at all, and he's lost any desire for social life. New truths were found through reading. His obsession with books has resulted in many sleepless nights and outlandish actions. Disconnection to the real world and delusions have creeped into his life. I went from denial to acceptance and on to nursing and to encouraging him. I see pain through his eyes, but he speaks of happiness in himself. It was a tough lesson for our family. However, it is by fighting against adversity that we found team effort is where we can find strength to not give up. Though I wasn't able to celebrate the joy of high school graduation, I believe that it is in every saving moment that I feel most alive. It is in brotherly love I wish to find a place of comfort for him. A place for his imagination and a place with tolerance and acceptance. It's when we're pushed to the corner where we can find our own edge. Life could be a struggle, but we know everyone is a work of art. Nothing is worse than the feeling of possibly losing a brother. No matter how fragile or how deficient he feels, I do everything to protect him. I am my brother's lifeguard, and he is my angel.